Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is look at the rectangular hyperbola with parametric equation x equals ct, y equals c over t. Remember I showed you in an earlier tutorial that this defined this particular curve, the rectangular hyperbola. Now if we take a general point P say on this curve with an x-coordinate of ct and a y-coordinate of c over t, then when it comes to working out the equation of the tangent and the normal, what we're going to need to do is first of all find the gradient at any point on the curve. So that requires us to differentiate our parametric equation. And in the usual way, what we do is we use the chain rule. We first of all find out what dx by dt is, then dy by dt, and then we combine these results in the chain rule to find dy by dx. So we'll start anyway with dx by dt. So we've therefore got dx by dt equals, and the differential of x with respect to t is just going to leave us with this constant c. For dy by dt, Okay, we've got dy by dt. We can think of this as being equal to c times t to the power of minus 1. So when we differentiate this, we get minus ct to the power of minus 2. In other words, minus c over t squared. So when we use the chain rule to work out what the gradient dy by dx is, dy by dx by the chain rule will be dy by dt times dt by dx. And so this is going to be equal to, well, dy by dt is minus c over t squared. And if we multiply this by dt by dx, we've just got to reciprocate this. So that's going to be multiply by 1 over c. Clean this up and what you have is minus 1 over t squared. So that's our general gradient at any point p on this curve. So when it comes to working out the equation of the tangent, we can say therefore equation of tangent. Okay, just write some kind of intro here. Equation of tangent at P is, and what is it? Well, I'm going to use the form for a straight line, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And so therefore we'd have y minus y1, that would be c over t, equals m, the gradient, which is minus 1 over t squared. We'll put that in brackets, minus 1 over t squared and we multiply this by x minus x1, x1 being ct. Now we could leave it like this or we could clean it up, we could get rid of the fractions here and if I'm going to do that I'd multiply both sides by t squared and if I do that I'm going to get y t squared or t squared y. For this term here I'd just be left with minus ct and then from this term I'm going to just have minus 1 then multiplied by the bracket. If I expand the bracket I'm going to get minus x plus ct. I could rearrange this by adding x to both sides and subtracting ct from both sides. If I do that I'm going to get x plus t squared y and then minus 2ct and that will equal 0. So that gives us our general equation of the tangent when it's given in parametric form. Okay well we need to look at the normal now. So we need to get the gradient of the normal and that will be the negative reciprocal of this general gradient and so that will be t squared. So we've therefore got the gradient okay, of the normal 
and that's going to be equal to t squared. So when it comes to working out the equation of the normal, the equation of the normal, what's that going to be? Well again if we use y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, we're going to have y minus y1, that's c over t, equals m, the gradient, which is t squared, multiplied by x minus x1, x minus ct. And again we could get rid of the fraction here, multiply throughout by t, and therefore we get ty minus c equals t cubed here, and if we expand the bracket we're going to get t cubed x, and then minus ct to the power 4. And I could rearrange this if I subtract ty and add c to both sides. I therefore have t cubed x minus ty and then I'm going to have plus c minus ct to the power 4. So I could factorize that. I could pull out plus c as a common factor and have 1 minus t to the power 4. And this would equal 0. OK, so we've got both general forms for the equation of a tangent now and the equation of a normal when it's given to you in parametric form. So I hope that's given you an idea when you get questions like that, how to handle them. OK, and you'll see further examples of this on my website, examsolutions.net.